Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about all of the brand new products that are either at the drugstore or from ColourPop, just basically the best of the new lip products that are out there. I kept receiving full ranges of lipsticks in PR and then I went to Walmart and there were even more new lipsticks and instead of just choosing one range of lipsticks and filming one video about that range, I thought I would kind of create more of like a Cliff's Notes version of what's new. So we're gonna be talking prices, formula, shade range, etc. And I'm just gonna be kind of going through each category and letting you guys know what is new at the drugstore or online. All of these are affordable prices. I'm really excited to tell you guys about some of these because some of the formulas are so incredible. I am very impressed. I've been testing and swatching these over the past week or so so that I could really have a solid opinion on these before filming this video. So let's just get right into it. First, we're gonna be talking about liquid lipsticks. We've got some new liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. They are these right here. I have four out of the seven shades that they offer. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and these specifically are the Le Macaron scent. Very French title. If you guys remember last year, L'Oreal came out with like the chocolate scented lipsticks. These are the Macaron Cookie scented version of that. The colors are more bright. The chocolate ones had really nice neutral and nude tones. These are more fun. These are more bright. I picked up four of the seven shades just because I did purchase these myself. So I just kind of bought the ones that really interested me. Here is what the applicator looks like on all of these. I really like this teardrop shape. It helps to create nice and precise lines. And I do feel like it smells like a macaron cookie. Oh my gosh, fun fact, you guys. First of all, I'm obsessed with Paris. And when we were in Paris, we went and ate a bunch of macarons and they're just so delicious. So this is kind of a fun collection for me because I just have always loved macarons in general and I've actually tried to make them several times. <laughs> they're a very difficult cookie to make, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the four that I have for you guys. I'm gonna take my bracelet off again for this whole video. Okay, so here are the four lipsticks swatched. This shade right here is called Guava Gush. It's such a beautiful kind of peachy pink shade. Then we have Mademoiselle Mango, which is a really beautiful fiery orange. I actually really love that one. Next to that, we have a really bright pink. This is called Frambois Frenzy. And then the last color is called Praline de Paris. And <laughs> I'm trying my best with my French accent. It's a really pretty purpley color. So as I was playing with this range of lipsticks, I really wanted to try to pick one that I liked the best. And with this particular range, you guys, I enjoyed all four colors. I tried them all on and they're so beautiful. I'm actually quite a fan of the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Liquid Lipsticks. The thing is, you kind of have to learn how to use them. It's easiest to do a lighter layer and then try not to touch your lips together until it dries completely. You're gonna feel it stay a little bit tacky for quite a while, but once it completely sets, it really is budge proof. The thing is with these, since they are a more matte finish, it is gonna kind of feel a little bit drying, but they do wear a very long time on the lips. So I thought I would just try on one for you since honestly, I can't pick a favorite out of these. I think the color range is beautiful and they're so fun for summer. Um, I'm gonna be trying on the Preline de Paris, and I really like this one because it's kind of like a purpley shade, and I don't know why, but for some reason, I really gravitate towards these shades. The other three are so fun for summer, though. Don't get me wrong. I truly would recommend all three of the other ones that I tried, and I wanna go back and try some more, but for now, I'll show you this one. So hopefully you can tell how well the applicator applies this. It's just very precise. I need a mirror. So there's that shade swatched all over the lips. I really love this one. And right now, since it's not completely dry yet, my lips do feel kind of sticky. I'm not gonna let it dry completely because otherwise it is very difficult to remove. And we have a lot more lipstick to talk about. Uh-oh, it's already drying pretty fast. Hang on, folks. I'm gonna add a little lip balm to break this down. All right, so final thoughts on the L'Oreal Infallible Le Macaron scented lipsticks. I really like these. They retail for $9.99 a piece. I feel like you would also enjoy them if you are somebody who likes a matte liquid lipstick and maybe you're looking for a really fun and bright lipstick for the summertime. Let's move on to the Honest Beauty liquid lipsticks. I did receive the entire collection of these in PR. Here's what the box looks like. Oh, I have lipstick like all over my hands. <laughs> Here's the inside of the box. Isn't this so pretty? When this came in the mail, I was so thrilled. I was so excited about the color range and then I was also very excited to try out the formula. So the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipsticks comes in seven shades. They retail for $12.99 a piece, so they are the most expensive out of this affordable range. However, I feel like I know why they're priced a little bit higher and I will get into that in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys as well. All right, so here are the seven shades of the Honest Beauty Liquid Lipstick. We have Off Duty, Forever, BFF, Happiness, Goddess, Passion, and Fearless. 
So if you guys didn't know, Honest Beauty is a clean beauty company, so they avoid a lot of harmful ingredients in their products. There are no silicones, no synthetic film formers, no animal byproducts, and then it's also a very flexible, hydrating, and all-day wear powered by Clean Power Technology, which is a technology that apparently is patent pending for them. So it says their Clean Power Technology powers the all-day wear of our color drenched shine to matte liquid lipstick. What's more, the vegan formula nourishes thanks to the avocado oil, feels flexible and instantly hydrates because there's also hyaluronic acid in here. So here's the situation with these liquid lipsticks. When I first got them and applied them, I applied way too much and I did not like how it felt on my lips. So the first thing that I would recommend, similar to the L'Oreal lipsticks, is to really start to apply a nice thin layer. I wore the shade Happiness, this one right here. I wore this shade all day long yesterday because I really wanted to get to know the formula and kind of see how it wore throughout the day. And you guys, I am so impressed by this formula, but I do have some pointers that I kind of want to touch on. I feel like the most important thing is applying a thin layer. Then once it's blended out, I didn't feel like it completely dried for about an hour or so. It kind of gets a little bit tacky. And when you put your lips together, you know that feeling that certain liquid lipsticks give you? It's almost like magnetic. <laughs> That's like the only way I can describe it. But it kind of stayed like that for longer than a lot of my liquid lipsticks. With that being said, I did like how there was time for it to kind of move around and it didn't dry so fast to where, you know, you had to get it right in the first two minutes of applying your lipstick. So with that being said, I personally would not recommend applying this lipstick and then going and eating something right away. Make sure you apply it fairly early on so it gives it that time to really set into the lips. And then once it's locked in after the first hour or so, I did not have any issues with it budging or moving. I ate an extremely like buttery meal. I made like a bunch of vegetables and there was butter on it. And I ate that while wearing this lipstick and it just faded the lipstick beautifully. It did not leave weird patchiness on the lips. I was so impressed with this and it was so extremely comfortable on the lips. So that is one thing that I really, really loved about it. And I do feel like the claims are very true as far as the comfortable, hydrating, flexible, all day wear kind of thing. So many lipsticks are super drying on the lips. So if you're somebody who likes the idea of a long wear liquid lipstick, but you've never been able to kind of handle the dryness that a lot of them give, I feel like this formula knocked it out of the park, to be honest. I was so impressed with it, you guys. So yes, they are more expensive than some of the other products I'm going to be sharing with you today But like you're paying for a clean formula and you're paying for a really comfortable and hydrating innovative formula So as far as the shades go, I feel like they did an amazing job selecting beautiful colors with some really bright fun colors but where I feel like they really outdid themselves here is in the more nude kind of colors so for me personally, I am absolutely obsessed with these three right here. Don't get me wrong, I honestly love the whole range. I tried all seven on and I really thought all seven were very flattering, but these three are the ones that I feel like I'm gonna be definitely using and those are the shades BFF, Forever, and Off Duty. I'm gonna try on one for you guys so you can kind of get a feel for the formula and also the color of this. I'm gonna swatch it BFF for you. I just feel like this shade is such a beautiful, like taupey nude color. So like I said, you can really take your time applying this because it's not gonna lock down for a while. I don't know what it is about this one, but it's just the perfect nude color for more of a glam look. I love this one. You know what? I might as well try on the other two for you guys because I really want this video to be helpful for anyone who's interested in buying any of these. So second, I'm going to apply Off Duty, which is the lightest in the shade range. By the way, I wanted to show you that when I use this, I always wipe off the excess back into the tube. That's just really helped me control the amount that's on my lips. I love the moussey texture of these. So there's Off Duty. It's much more of a lighter pinky kind of nude. And last but not least, I'm going to be swatching the shade Forever, which is a really pretty kind of purpley nude. Mm, maybe it's not really a nude. To me, it's something that I would wear on a daily basis. This kind of a shade is what I like to refer to as a wearable bold because it is different, but it's not so overpowering to where it takes over the whole face. So again, that one is forever. I've tried a lot from Honest Beauty and just like any brand, there's products that I absolutely love and then other products that I personally don't love as much. But when it comes to lip products, there is not an Honest Beauty lip product that I do not like so far. I think their lip products are amazing. So if you guys haven't tried the brand yet, I would definitely recommend trying any of their lip products. Their tinted lip balms are also great, but these new liquid lipsticks are amazing. And I was so thoroughly impressed by them yesterday. So I would definitely highly recommend these if you're looking for a new liquid lipstick and maybe you want to try this new kind of a formula because I do feel like it is very innovative. I'm so excited about these and I will definitely continue to wear them. I should mention that they do dry down in the first five minutes or so, but they're not completely dry for about an hour. 
dollars. So that's all I have to say about the Honest Beauty liquid lipsticks. These are so great. All right, let's talk about some new shades in the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip. They recently launched like a California collection. I can't remember what the collection is called exactly, but in that collection, they launched five new shades of the Ultra Blotted Lip. I purchased four. Somehow I missed the fifth one when I was buying them online. And when I looked back at the website, I noticed that I did miss one of them. So I only have four out of the five to swatch for you guys but it's better than nothing, I guess. So these new ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lips retail for $7 each, or you can buy these three shades right here in a set for $18. I will get into that later. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys. So I actually have to give credit to you all for getting me hooked on these Ultra Blotted Lips. The Ultra Blotted formula is like a matte liquid lipstick, but way more sheer. So you kind of get more of like a stained effect, but it lasts a really long time on the lips. Also, ColourPop launches so many new things. By the time you see this video, they probably have an entire new lip collection, but I'm doing my best to keep up, okay? All right, here are the four ultra blotted lips. Starting with this one, we have Scenic Root, Cypress Chill, Oh Hi There, which is spelled O-J-A-I, I believe. And then this last bright purple is called Double Trouble. So I'm gonna swatch my two personal favorites, which are Scenic Root and Oh Hi There. The other two are pretty colors. I felt like this one was a little bit patchy, and this one was just a little bit too deep for me to wear a lot. I stick to colors like this more often, but I did enjoy this color. This one is Cypress Chill. But let me show you guys these two. I'm gonna start with Scenic Root. I really like the gold cap on this. So this one's just like a really good everyday nude. And with these, I like to apply them and then kind of buff it out with my finger. See how that's like a sheer matte liquid lipstick? I really do like this one. I will say when it dries down, it does make your lips feel kind of dry, but this kind of a formula is convenient, especially for the summer if you don't want something that's gonna slip and slide around your lips. And also if you don't want something that's gonna turn weird or look crusty by the end of the day. These never do that on me and they also wear off very nicely. So that one again is Scenic Root. And then I'm gonna show you Oh Hi There which is a really fun, bright color. So there's that one swatched on the lips. I really do like this one as well. So if you are looking to try out or expand your ultra blotted lip collection, I would recommend these two shades, Scenic Root and Oh Hi There. And again, they're $7 each, or you can get Cypress Chill, Oh Hi There, and Scenic Root in a set for $18. I will have everything listed and linked down below to make it as easy and clear for you guys as possible. That's all I have to say about the new ultra blotted lip shades from ColourPop. We've got some more ColourPop to talk about, and these ones you guys have been asking me all over social media to try these and review them for you, so I will. The lip products I'm talking about are these right here, which are so cute. These are the new ColourPop Just a Tint Lip Crayons. I have the entire collection here in front of me. Look at all these. I love the packaging of all these, oh my gosh. So the Just a Tint Lip Crayons come in 12 shades. You can buy them individually for $7. You can get them in these sets, which are duos for $12 or you can buy the entire collection for $72. So let's go ahead and swatch these. I'm actually gonna swatch them kit by kit so you guys can get a feel for what's in the duos if you're interested in trying those out. Starting off with You're a Peach. Here's what the packaging looks like. This set comes with Z Boys and Rise and Shine. And here they are swatched. We have Rise and Shine next to Z Boys. I love those two. Next up we have the set Guava Habit. Isn't the packaging to die for on these? Here are the two that comes in that set. We have Maui Wowie and Chubby Bunny. Here they are swatched. We have Maui Wowie and then Chubby Bunny right there. Next up we're gonna swatch this set right here which is called Gimme a Slice. In this one we have a go, go and Chimichanga. Here's what they look like swatched. We have a go, go and then Chimichanga right next to it. Next, we're gonna swatch Dragon My Heart Around. I love this. In this set, we have The Strand next to Treasure Island. And here they are swatched. Again, we have The Strand and then Treasure Island. Next, we're gonna swatch Cherry and Bright. And in this set, we have City of Stars and Cutie Fruity. And here they are swatched. Again, we have City of Stars and then Cutie Fruity is the last one. Then last but not least, we have the Coconuts About You set. And in this set, we have Cherry Pickin' and Gimme Some More. And there's the last two swatched. Again, we have Cherry Pickin' and Gimme Some More is on the end. So a really pretty fun shade range. You have a range of neutrals and then also some brights. 
I've been playing around with these formulas for a few days as well, and I have to say I really like them. I do have favorites though, which I'm gonna share with you. My favorite set, if you're interested, would have to be You're a Peach. I just really liked both of these colors, but as I was swatching these, I kinda had to be real with myself. When it comes to lip crayons, I really don't reach for brighter colors. I would rather go for a more liquid lipstick formula when I wanna wear a bold lip. So with that being said, I gravitated towards a lot of the nude shades in this range, and I'm gonna share with you guys and swatch the ones that I personally love. So besides the Yora Peach set, which I guess I can swatch those, so we'll start with that. The Yora Peach set, this one is Rise and Shine, which is a really pretty peach. These smell slash taste really good. It has a very fruity scent to it, so again, there's Rise and Shine. This one is Z Boys, which is just kind of a nice nude color as well. It's a little bit of a darker brown nude, but when it comes to liking both shades in the set, this one by far is my favorite. So both shades in that set are really, really fun. When it comes to me really liking both shades in the set, the Yora Peach set definitely is my favorite. However, I do have a few other favorites, and it's weird because the sets that they're in, I don't necessarily like the other color in the set as much, so I would personally recommend just picking up the one shade by itself. So the next one that I really love is Gimme S'more. This is such a good color. It's like my lips, but better. These glide on so smoothly, and I really like how they're buildable, and they feel so comfortable and nourishing on the lips too. I mean, come on, that's a really good nude, so I definitely would say that I love this shade, Gimme Some More. And then the last shade that I really, really like is in the Dragon My Heart Around set, which by the way, the Gimme Some More was in Coconuts About You. But the one in this set that I really like is called The Strand, and I think it's such a cool pinky nude color. So let me go ahead and apply this. I love this one. So there's the strand, I really like this one as well. If there are two that I could tell you I feel like I'm gonna get the most use out of, it's definitely Gimme Some More and The Strand. I almost wish that this was a bundle because they are so good, but hopefully you guys found all those swatches helpful. You know, ColourPop launches things all the time, and recently they have just been knocking it out of the park because I keep placing orders on their website, and it's not always like that. I have to really, really enjoy whatever collection they're coming out with because they do release so much, I do pick and choose but golly gee whirlickers. These Just a Tint lip products, they're the cutest things I've ever seen. And I do really love the formula of these. I think they're perfect for summer, so I hope you guys found that helpful. Let's move on to the next formula. All right, the next lip collection is very exciting for me because I love the original version of this. If you've watched my channel for a while, you would have known that I love the L'Oreal Colorie Shine lipsticks. These are a sister to those. These are the new L'Oreal Colorie Plump and Shine lipsticks. This range comes in nine shades. I'm gonna be swatching four out of the nine shades for you guys. And these retail for $9.99. So this is apparently L'Oreal's first plumping lipstick. It says, give your pout plump and shine instantly with our new hydrating color reach lipstick. One application of this plumping lipstick delivers lasting shine, all day moisture, and a cooling tingling feel. Lips appear soft, glossy, and visibly plumped with a subtle flush of color available in nine shades, fruity scents, and a high performance lipstick that leaves lips feeling healthy and conditioned from day to night. Love that. All right, so I do have four I'm gonna share with you guys. I'm gonna swatch these real quick. The first one you might not be able to see. I'll swatch it on my lips later because you will be able to see it better on my lips. Okay, here are all four swatched. Hopefully you can kind of see that on camera. The first one right here is called Lychee Plump. The second one is called Coconut Plump. Third, we have Nectarine Plump, and then fourth is Watermelon Plump. So those are the four that I have. And I must say, I actually really do like the formula of these. You definitely do feel that tingly sensation that you get with a lot of plumping lipsticks. If you're not a fan of that, you won't be a fan of these. As far as the shades go, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all four for you guys because they really are super sheer and really pretty. I'm gonna start off with the Lychee Plump, which I think is a really cool one. It looks like it's almost gonna be a clear balm, but once you apply it to the lips, you'll see that it gives off a really pretty gold sheen. I think this one is so pretty, and I think it'd be beautiful layered on top of like a lip liner, or if you just want a little hint of shine in the center of the lip sometime, I think this one is so pretty, so I wanted to show that one to you guys. I'm gonna save what I feel like is the best for last. So I'm gonna show you guys Nectarine Plump, which is that orange one. I love how sheer these are, so you really can't mess up, and even though they are more bright colors, they're just sheer enough to where I feel like I would wear these. I feel like the ColourPop Just a Tint lipsticks have way more pigment than these do. So there's the Nectarine Plump. I think this one is so pretty as well if you're into really glossy, peachy, orange kind of colors. That one's really nice. Next is the Watermelon Plump, which is more of a red. Well, it kind of translates more of like a red pink on the lips. 
I feel like each one is flavored like the scent. So this one tastes like watermelon. I didn't pay attention to the other three, but let me see if the last one tastes like coconut. Anyway, that's the watermelon plump if you wanted to see it. And then my personal favorite out of the four that I have is coconut plump. It does smell like coconut, oh my gosh. So each one has its own individual scent. This one is the most nude color out of the bunch, like out of the whole range. The rest are pretty bright colors, but I just love this pinky kind of nude. I love this one. I feel like I'm gonna get the most use out of this one. Even though I do really enjoy all four, for some reason, I gravitate toward nude colors all the time, even though the bright colors are really fun in this collection. So that's the last one I wanted to show you. Overall, I really would recommend these unless you do not like the feeling of a plumping lipstick. I personally don't mind it. And the formula of these are really, really nice, super hydrating and comfortable. I've loved the original Color Riche formula, so the fact that there's new colors with just a plumping addition is really nice in my opinion and I definitely would recommend these. And if I had to pick one or maybe two, I'd first pick Coconut Plump and then I really do like the Lychee Plump as well. But all four colors that I tried, I really do enjoy. It's so hard for me to pick favorites with lip colors sometimes, but so that's all the info that I have for you guys on the new Color Riche Plump and Shine lipsticks. My lips are all tingly now. All right, next up we're gonna be talking about some new glosses. These are the new Maybelline and Summer McKean lip glosses. The shade range in total comes in six colors. I only could find four colors at my Walmart. They've all been sold out for a while. So I just have these four to talk about. So like I said, this range comes in six shades and they retail for $5.94 at Walmart. They are a Walmart exclusive, I believe. They are also limited edition. So if you are interested in any of these colors that I talk about today, you might wanna check your Walmart sooner than later since they are going to be limited edition. So let me swatch the four that I have. All right, so here's all four swatched on the arm. Starting with this one right here. This one is called Barefoot. The second one is called Tan Line. Then we have Heat Wave and Sunburn. So there's all four right next to each other. So out of the four that I have, to be honest, I was not personally a big fan of the shade Barefoot on me. It's just a little bit too light and frosty. I felt like it kind of emphasized my lip lines too much. Ugh, dropping things. And I also didn't really care for the shade Heat Wave. I'm not saying that these aren't pretty shades or that someone else might not enjoy them, but I'm just being honest as far as my own personal opinions go. So I am gonna try on the other two shades because I really do love this one and it's actually surprising how much I like this one. I didn't think I would like it because it's like a berry gloss and I'm usually not someone to pick that up at the store, but I will swatch that one for you so you can see what I'm talking about. This first one right here is called Tan Line and I just really like the kind of milky color. I really, really like this shade. It's a great everyday kind of color. I think the scent is coconut. I could be wrong. So again, that one is tan line and I really, really like this color. It looks very natural on the lips and I feel like it's something that I would reach for often. And then I'm gonna try on the shade Sunburn, which looks extremely intense in the bottle, but it's actually not too bad once you apply it. Look how sheer it goes. It obviously does tint the lips, but it's not nearly as dark as the tube looks when you apply it to the lips. So as far as formula goes, these are not my favorite drugstore glosses I've ever tried. I do really like this color specifically, and for that reason, I feel like I would kind of look past the formula. It definitely does feel like more of a sticky formula than a lot of other glosses that I have, high-end or drugstore. I really do feel like my lips stick together <laughs> with this. Since I already bought them, I do feel like I will get use out of these two shades. If you're somebody who's a fan of Summer McKean, I would recommend picking these up to support her. And also, these two shades really are beautiful. However, if you have a lot of glosses already and none of these shades really call your name, I would say to just maybe pass on these. But again, with that being said, this shade is so pretty. And I do feel like I'll get a lot of use out of this one just because of the shade alone. All right, guys, we've made it to the end. I have one more product to talk about. These are the new Revlon Super Lush the gloss. These have actually been out. I've never tried them before, but they just launched 14 new shades. And when I was looking through the shade range, since all of these were sent to me, I kind of know which ones I would actually wear. So for that reason, I'm not gonna open and swatch all 14 of the new shades. I will have everything linked down below if you guys wanna see swatches of all the shades. And I will give you guys a sneak peek of them. Here are five of the 14. Here's another five. They're really pretty, but a lot of these deeper colors, I just know I won't wear. So I'm gonna save them and throw them in a future seven minute giveaway, which are the giveaways that I do on my Instagram. But with that being said, I have opened and swatched a couple of these and I've just opened them based off of my personal, you know, like taste. So I am gonna swatch four out of the 14 new shades so that you guys can see the ones that I've at least opened. And then I will show you guys my personal favorites out of those four. So here's all four glosses swatched. We have crystal clear, 
Taupe Luster, Blissed Out, and Rose Quartz. So when I first opened the PR package up, I really was drawn to these shiny ones. Once applied to the lips, they didn't end up being my personal favorite, but the ones that I really did like <laughs> were these two right here, which I will swatch for you guys. So I should mention that these glosses come in a total of 24 shades. Again, there are 14 new shades. So that means there was an existing 10 shades. I haven't ever tried those 10 shades. Um, these retail for $8.99 a piece. And I'm gonna first swatch Taupe Luster. I guess I should show you the large doe foot applicator. Really picks up quite a bit of product, which is actually nice because it allows you to really build them up. So some details about this. Apparently they did update the formula. They're supposed to be more lightweight and less sticky. I would have to agree with both of those things. I don't feel like this is heavy or sticky, which is really nice. It feels very nourishing on the lips too. It says this lightweight non-sticky lip gloss deposits dewy shine, decadent moisture, and all the color crave while it makes the lips look plumper. The formula contains agave, moringa oil, and capuacu butter. I don't really know how to say that. Um, the applicator is oversized and it has a reservoir tip that basically your lips in a generous layer of glossy sheen. So I would have to agree with all those claims. It feels so nice on the lips and this shade is one of my favorites, but I was actually like the most impressed with the clear one. I will show you guys in just a second. Here's the clear one. Again, this is called Crystal Clear. I love the large doe foot applicator. And I have just been loving to load this one up on the lips. Isn't this clear one so fun? I love a good clear gloss that just gives you so much shine and plumpness and hydration to the lips. So I would say that these two are my favorite out of the new shades. I actually do wanna look and see if they have other more matte or opaque colors that are more on the nude side because I do feel like I would reach for those. But yeah, out of all 14, I definitely would have to say these two are my favorites. I love the packaging on these as well. So if you're looking for a new, really shiny gloss that doesn't feel too heavy or sticky at all, these are awesome. So that's it for the new Revlon Super Lustrous The Gloss glosses. I do have two other honorable mentions that I do want to kind of throw out there. I don't, I'm not going to swatch all these, but I did kind of want to throw them out there because I've tried them both in previous videos. So they're technically not like brand new to me, at least, even though they are new on the market. The first glosses I want to talk about are the L'Oreal glowing lip glosses. It comes in three shades. I can't find the third one. It might be in a purse somewhere. These are amazing glosses. I also really love the larger packaging on these. All three colors are beautiful and they feel like a liquid lip balm. So if you're looking for something that's really, really comfortable on the lips, I would definitely check those out. And then also another product from Revlon that I've loved is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish. These are really shiny, super opaque. So if you want something that's gonna kind of be like a lipstick and a gloss combined, but not be sticky, these are awesome. This one is in the shade Birthday Suit and I really love this one. So I just wanted to touch on those two because I have also been enjoying those and they are fairly new to the drugstore as well. Well, my lips are on fire, but I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope you guys found it helpful. I will have everything listed and linked in the description box for you guys to keep it super organized. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a lot of fun creating it and going through all these different formulas and testing these out over the past week for you. So hopefully you guys have a better idea of what's out there and what's new and what to look for depending on your needs and wants as far as lipsticks go. So if you're new here. Hi, my name is Allie. I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a subscriber, but you want to be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I post, click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll get a notification every single time I upload. I love you all so much. Thank you for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos. You guys are the absolute best. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Love you.